Hi there, so today I'm going to make some bacon and cheddar cookies. One of my husband's friends doesn't really like sweets, so for his birthday I have made these cookies in the past and he very much likes them, so I thought I would show you this recipe. It's not my recipe, it's one I found online and it sounded good uh, and it looked right and it tasted fantastic, so I'm continuing to use it and I will post the link to the recipe below and I'll also post the recipe, um, but you can have a look around, it's a pretty cool website as well. Anyway, so uh, all you need for these cookies, you need some bacon, some flour, cayenne pepper, or I'm just using a, uh, a pure chili powder. You need some sharp cheddar cheese, butter, eggs, and heavy cream. So to start, I've got one stick of softened butter cut up in the bottom of my mixer, and I'm just going to give that a quick little cream. There we go. And I'm just going to scrape that down the sides. Now it wasn't super softened, so that's why I was creaming it first, just so that I can soften it up a little bit more. Uh, actually, we'll leave that down. And then to that, I am going to add in most of the rest of my other ingredients. So I've got my flour. And that is two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. You can obviously adjust that to taste uh, if you want it spicier or not, but I thought that was good. Uh, we've got our butter. We're going to pop in one large egg and an extra egg yolk. Save your white and make meringues or something that you like with that. And last but not least, for this part, we are going to pop in two tablespoons of heavy cream. Now obviously if you don't have heavy cream, uh, you can just use regular milk would be fine. But I do happen to have cream, so I am going to use it and just going to mix that all together until it's nicely incorporated. Okay, and I am going to give that just a quick little scrape off the bottom. But that is looking good. The, these are cookies that you're going to shape into a log chill and then cut before you cook them. So it is a very thick dough uh, and a dough rather than sort of a loose batter, thick batter kind of cookie. So as they are bacon and cheddar cookies, we obviously need to add in our cheddar. So I have one cup of finely shredded cheddar. Uh, and if you saw that, it was rather full Pyrex cup, so a little bit more than a cup from me. And then four slices of thick cut bacon, finely chopped and fried. So you're going to pre-cook this. And I had not such thick bacon, so I decided to make six strips. I also very much like bacon, as does my husband's friend. So we're going to pop all of that. So you just saw me crunching that up. You can chop it up if you want but I find crunching just fine. And then because it's nice and thick, we're just gonna mix it on a low speed. There we go, so that looks great. So now what you wanna do is turn this out onto um, the counter and roll it into a log and wrap it in some plastic wrap. So let me get the bowl out of the way and I'll show you how you wrap it up. Okay, so I have popped a little bit of flour onto the surface of my workbench here, and I'm just going to dump out all of my cookie dough. There we go, move this. Uh, and so you're just gonna bring it together. You're not kneading it or anything like that. The flour is just to make sure it doesn't stick to your counter as you roll it out into a log. So 
So if you've never done this before, we're not kneading it or anything like that, just shaping it. These cookies that you roll out like this are very handy. So this is obviously a savory cookie with no sugar or anything and you've got your bacon and cheddar. But these cookies that you can keep kind of in the fridge or the freezer rolled in a log so that when you need some cookies you just pop them out, slice them, throw them into the oven and away you go. So very, very handy style cookie. Okay, there we go. So this is my log. This is a little bit more like two inches, I would say, than an inch and a half, but that's all right. You can adjust it to any size that you want. And then all you're going to do is I've got some cling film, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it, uh, and I'm just going to roll it tightly in that. Just give it a little twist. There we go. Uh, and now you want to chill that into the uh, chill that in the fridge for at least two hours or so. And so I'll pop this into the fridge, and I will come back and show you what it looks like to cut it up, pop it onto the tray, and what they look like when they're finished. Okay, so I've let this chill, and I cheated a little bit. I popped it into the freezer for an hour rather than the fridge for two hours. So it's ready to go. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and I've got a baking sheet and a second one ready lined with some baking parchment. So now all you need to do is cut these up in whatever thickness you want. So I'm going to do maybe about a quarter of an inch or so, just sort of rounds like that. Not too thick or they'll take too long to cook. So kind of nice and even all the way through. And then just space them out on your baking sheet and give them maybe, they don't grow too much um, when they're cooking, so maybe give them about half an inch, an inch or so. Well, maybe an inch, actually, inch and a half would probably be better. Let me see. Yeah, I'd probably space them out about an inch apart. Bring that down. So my baking tray, I can get a place for stoves like that. Uh, I can do 24 on my baking tray. And if you're finding they get flat like that, just on the bottom, then you can just roll uh, your cookie dough over so that you're not squishing the same spot. You can keep rolling it as you go. There we go, so we've got the first batch ready to go in. So I'm gonna pop those into my 350 degree oven for about 20, 20 minutes or so. I'm probably gonna check them after about 15 minutes just to make sure that they uh, aren't burning and then adjust the time accordingly. So I will come back and show you what they look like once they're finished cooking. Okay, so I've been baking these for 25 minutes total. I checked them after 15, 20, and then they did need the extra five minutes as well. So they're all nice and lightly golden brown. So I'm just gonna let them cool on the pan, which is on top of a wire rack. And they'll cool down. You can leave them slightly warm if you'd like, or they're great room temperature and you can store them in an airtight container if you're not going to eat them right away. My batch made these 24 plus another four uh, that I had on a, another baking sheet. So 28 total. Again, that depends on the size that you've made your cookies and how thick you've cut them. But that is the cookie. I will grab one from the other tray and just break it open. So these will get crispier as they cool. But that's the inside, so you've got your bits of bacon, and you can see the little bits of cheese on the top as well. Really, really yummy, and so if you know anyone who isn't particularly fond of sweet things, then these are a great savory thing to eat or to have. 
They also go really well with soups and stuff like that. So a fantastic little cookie to try if you want something savory. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. As I said, I will post my uh, the link to the recipe below uh, as well as the recipe itself. And give it a go. See what you think. If you've got any questions or comments, post those below. And thanks again for watching.